I'm so tired of this stud. No, 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 don't do that. What's up guys, I'm Luke. This is a Subaru only channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru cars and motorsport events. I try and put a little bit of value in every video and I'm putting out a video every week. Thanks for checking it out. Subscribe if you like it. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you avoid doing something like this by using something as simple as two little nuts. It's called the double nut method. Let's check it out. Okay, the double nut method. What's that all about? I got two nuts, I got a stud. Basically, you put the first nut over the stud, you put the second nut over the stud. Those nuts bind with each other and if you try to pull the bottom nut out, it'll bind with the top nut and it'll pull the whole stud out. And if you try to drive this top nut down, it'll bind with the lower nut and it'll drive the stud down. So basically, you can use a double nut method to either remove old rusted studs, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now on my engine, or you can use it to install new studs. So it's really valuable. It's an old hot rodders trick. If you already know it, it's really simple. If you don't know it, it's kind of mind blowing and how simple it is and you'll fucking kill yourself if you ever try to do it any other way. So I figured I better make a video and I'll call this one a quick tech tip. Let's put it to the test and pull an old stud out of this head. Okay, here's the stud we're gonna remove. Now, like I said before, we're gonna put the first nut down. Now, if you have a messed up thread, it might be kind of difficult to thread that nut down. So you're gonna to have to use a socket and a ratchet to probably thread that nut down. I actually cleaned the threads here a little bit with a wire brush, and if you need to, use a little WD-40 or any kind of penetrating compound to kind of break up the rust a little bit so you can get this nut down. It doesn't matter if there's a lot of lubricant on the threads because the nut is gonna bind with the other nut for this double nut method. Um, but you do need to get the nut down far enough so you can get the second nut threaded on top also. I'm gonna use a ratcheting box end wrench. Once you've got that first nut thread down far enough so that you'll have enough room for the second nut to go down on the threads, go ahead and put the second nut in. And tighten the second nut down. Once you have both nuts threaded down on the stud, at this point you can back out your stud or if you're installing your studs, you could thread down your stud. To back out your stud, you put your wrench around the lower nut and you back out the lower nut, which will lock into the top nut and it'll pull the whole stud out. We'll walk through that right now. Put your open end wrench around the lower nut and then, and then pull it out. And that is how to pull out a seized stud using the double nut method. Sweet. Okay, when it comes time to replace the stud you removed, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a new stud right here. You're gonna to wanna to actually use some anti-seize. So go ahead and pick yourself up some anti-seize. You put the anti-seize on the threads, that way the new stud won't bind up and seize in that cylinder head the way the one that you just removed did. So let's go ahead and lube this sucker up and put it in the head. Okay, when you put this anti-seize in, just put it on one side of the threads. So just coat it like that on one side. Don't worry about getting it on both sides. Once you start threading it in the head, the process of threading it down the head will, will spread it out evenly throughout the threads. Okay, so once you've started it, you go ahead and put your first nut down. Thread it down far enough so you have enough room to put the second nut down. And then put the second nut down. Once the second nut has bound with the bottom nut, you're ready to go ahead and thread the stud down. Now remember, when you're using a double nut method to thread down a stud, you're gonna screw the top bolt down. If you're gonna pull the stud out, you would unscrew the bottom bolt up. Okay, once you feel that the stud has gone all the way down the hole and has bottomed out, you go ahead and use two open end wrenches to break those two nuts apart and then they can easily unscrew off the stud. All right, that stud is in and it's installed the right way. It's not gonna seize or bind up for the next guy years and years down the road, which is awesome. 
So this motor is getting buttoned up and it's getting ready to be dropped back in the Forester. And I'm going to be wrapping up this whole engine series on replacing the head gaskets in this 2.5 liter Forester engine. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my older videos where I'm walking through all the steps involved in replacing these head gaskets. There's some good ones there and there's a lot of good tech tips there as well. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap it up there for today. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. I'm Luke. This is a Subaru only channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. Today we talked about installing exhaust studs, the right way to remove them, using a double nut method, not using a pair of vice grips, and the right way to install them using anises. So go ahead and pick yourself up some anises, get a big jug like this, it'll last you a lifetime, and you'll be ready to install studs and install spark plugs and a bunch of other parts in your car the right way because you need to use this anises. And if you did like the video, please like it, please subscribe. That actually really makes a difference with the Google supercomputers and how they rank all these YouTube videos. So if you think my videos are good stuff that other people might dig, that other Subaru enthusiasts might think is actually something of value, then please go ahead and like it and subscribe and leave comments if you guys think there's value. So if you don't think there's value, don't do anything. If you think other people would like this stuff, like it, subscribe to it, comment it, do everything, because that would actually help get it to a lot of other people who might actually also be stoked to see these videos. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be making another video really soon. Like I said, I'm doing one video a week, and I'm trying to do even more than that. Thanks so much for the comments, guys. Thanks for all the love. I'm going to keep making these videos, and I'm going to keep making them better and better for you guys. I really appreciate it. Talk to you later.